What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you some of the latest news within Destiny 2. Not much in terms of excitement to talk about today, but with the addition of other things, I hope you do enjoy the video. So we have new info on Bungie Bounties now, I believe they may be returning pretty soon. Now at first, as soon as I saw this tweet, after reading it, I thought what was meant here was maybe the original bounties you got from Xander99-40, who offered like 6 Crucible bounties and 6 PvP bounties within the tower in Destiny 1, but in fact, that isn't actually what's meant here. DMG04 on Twitter, who works on behalf of the Destiny 2 support team, quoted this tweet and responded with this, you mean bungee bounties? With Cosmo back in the building, they may be returning soon, stay tuned. But confirmed by replying to Colby Ninja, these ain't the original bounties the first game offered. He states, if that's the case, hit up the feedback forum. Challenges on each destination slash activity grant reputation for associated vendors. Kinda like bounties, just more opportunities. So the bounty theme means which might be returning are those bungee pot are normally what our content creates heads and send them into the PvP. You then go into PvP, try and find them. If you beat them, you are rewarded an exclusive emblem. Now this to me never really interests me. I remember coming to Xbox a couple times, me trying for about an hour to get into a game with this dude and it just never happened. And from that point, it just never really interested me. But I know it does a few people. So yes, I hope you enjoy this edition coming back. Okay, so moving on and this seriously piqued my interest. Mark knows where every project leader at Bungie tweeted this. We are absolutely supporting each other and our constant soundboards for Chris Barrett's leadership of D2's future. As players too, we are excited for what's in store, this update and beyond. He was quoting this tweet by Duffins Land. I hate to say this, but where is Norsworthy and Luke Smith in the dev update? I feel like Barrett was solo on this. Team shoot this. Now after reading this, a couple of things spark my interest senses, and to be honest, the more I think, the more interesting it gets. As far as I am aware, uh, Luke Smith and Norsworthy were lead directors on the game. Now we know the current state of the game, we know some of the reasons for this, uh, one of them being it was rebooted 15 months or so before release. No doubt scrapping or prior plans. This I believe was done by Luke Smith as around this time he was confirmed as Destiny 2's game director. But Destiny 2, let's face it, did not live up to expectations. It failed, end of, but it can be revived. Christopher Bat has always been one person many of the community believe they can trust. His relationship with the community is great and he is super active on informing of, of changes and the feedback. I've said this before, he at the moment is one of the only people I believe can bring us a better future with Destiny 2. This tweet from Norsworthy confirms that Barrett is indeed taking leadership over the future of the game. Does this mean Luke Smith and himself won't have a say? It's quite obvious that they will, but with Christopher Barrett getting confirmed leadership over the game, this is probably the best news we've had so far since the game has come out. I'm not even joking with you guys. It's definitely the best news we've had so far when it comes to progress going forward with Destiny 2. Norsworthy seems like a genuine dude, but he rarely responds to community feedback. Luke Smith is never anywhere to be seen. He tweets like once every two months talking about Star Wars or something like that. Barrett on the other hand is on the case. I'm glad he has leadership going forward. Now on the matter of Christopher Barrett, I covered this in a past video where Barrett confirms collectibles and secrets will be hidden within future expansions. He stated this after being asked about the possible return of things such as dead ghosts being brought back. Now in a recent tweet, he was asked this, will there ever be hidden items for us to find in the environment again? Barrett replied with yes. Now this doesn't confirm dead ghosts will be making a return, but the idea of having some hidden little collectibles secrets to go and explore and find is something I as well as Buddha and his friends all seem to miss. It's another core element the first game offered which seems to be missing from the second game. Now something else I want to talk about, this comes from last week's big weekly update we got talking about the major changes coming to both PvE and PvP. They mentioned that of ranks for PvP, Valor and Glory. Valor, a progression rank that goes up as you complete matches, winning helps you move up faster but there are no loss penalties. And then we have Glory, a progression rank that goes up when you win and down when you lose. Performance is how you move up here. We also got this screenshot which showcases a few interesting things. 
We see four fire team members here, all with what looks to be the same emblem, same icons but showing a different score. Interesting, I believe this image shows us some kind of prestige system. We are obviously all aware of card, reach a certain rank and you prestige and receive a new icon next to your name. I noticed two things here. Him at the top of the team, the fire team leader, has the highest score here of 5500. He also has a similar but actually different emblem than the others. His icon on his is gold. And if you look closely, I can see what I believe is three kind of stripes going through his actual emblem. Kind of looks like a really faded like black Vanguard logo. But his icon is gold. This in my opinion is no doubt because he has a higher score than the others. What I think this is, is kind of a prestige rank for the game sort of thing. Notice on the left we see this icon here which states a legend and under it has that 5500 score. This in my opinion is one of two things, max rank and level, that being a max score of 5500, or this is the barrier that you have to meet to rank up to a legend and receive that alternate emblem. Whether it's limited to this score, whether we can progress past it, we don't know yet, but it's interesting to speculate on. Also notice the actual legend icon here on the left, it's the same thing we see next to the scores on the emblems. And guys, to end today's video, check this out. Adding a certain shader to your verse weapons makes them really look like Siva weapons from Destiny 1. Now this was shown to me on Twitter a while back and it weren't until I was changing shaders on certain items which I remembered it. The shader is called Crucible Glory and it actually makes some of the verse weapons look Siva mutated, which looked great. Whoever it was that showed me this, cheers. Can't remember who you are. Uh, so if it was you, let me know down below and I will credit you within the video description. But on that note, guys, I am out. Thanks for stopping by as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. It really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.